I want to test your thinking for a moment. Real quick video here. Now we know that the Bible is full of parables, analogies, symbols, metaphors. And I'm going to add one more word in there. Allegory. Now, from all your studying, and also we know that there are many different translations of the Bible, but my question to you is, to somebody that's new in the faith, or even somebody that's just even thinking about coming into Christ, that's reading certain things in the Bible, how do you respond back to them when they get to, what is it, Galatians chapter 4? around verse 24 or verse 21 when Paul is talking about Abraham and he says this is, is an allegory. How should that be interpreted? This is my question to you. Because an allegory don't mean it's true. It could be a made up story. So is that a bad translation? Or once again, how do you as a believer respond back because Paul is talking about Abraham. He's talking about Isaac and Ishmael. And he uses the word allegory, which throws a lot of people off. So once again, how do you respond back to that? Because Abram, we know his name was Abram first before it was, you know, changed to Abraham, which is known as the father of, of all nations. Now, my question to you is, once again, how do you respond back to that? Because if Abraham is false, if that's, just, if that's an allegory, how do you explain Hebrews? How do you explain the Israelite? So what is your take on that? I'm not, I'm not going against the Bible in no kind of way. I'm asking the question, how do you respond Give me some feedback. Love you and have a blessed day.